ATP, ATP, ATP. You ain't addicted to progress? What's up, y'all? It's Dalton, and today's video is going to be a quick one showing how I made the cover art for Mason Margella's debate mixtape, Growing Pains. We had some technical difficulties with the video that was originally supposed to be uploaded today, so I did have to film this one today and edit it, so that's why it's coming out later than normal. It's going to be a little shorter than normal as well, but let's get right into it. So the cover art started on the night that we filmed the No Joke music video. Uh, we had our friend Peyton come with us. He was just shooting behind the scenes photos, um, and as I was filming some dance videos, he took some pictures of Mason skateboarding. So this is one of the pictures that he actually took as you can see it is in jpeg format so it does have those black boxes on the top and the bottom right now i am in adobe lightroom with the picture the reason i'm in lightroom to start this video is because this picture um it was taken on a film camera what i wanted to do is i just wanted to put a color profile on there just to bring out the lights a little more and brighten it up just a little bit because you can see the blacks are really harsh so what i did is i came up here and i did actually use one of the preset ones that comes with adobe lightroom it's a vintage six threw that on there amount to about 40 so that it's not too big of a change but it definitely helps it um so here's the before and now here is after so you can see that it added some contrast and just made the picture have a little bit more brightness to it so now that i got the picture itself all set obviously just come down here save that picture i'm just going to save it to my document so that i can find that right away and then I actually do already have a Photoshop project started. Whenever you're making a mixtape cover, you always want the size to be 3000 by 3000 pixels. Um, that's the standard cover art size and that's the size that you must submit it in. So since I have that picture saved in my documents, what I do is I come down to documents and I can just simply drag this picture in here. So obviously you can see that with those black bars, we want the background to be strictly just the picture. So what I do um, is I bring it up here and I put it in the corner. And what I do is I just take this corner and I drag it as far as I can. Bring it up one more time, drag it down. Zoom out just a little bit so that you can drag it farther than the project a little more. So once the layer gets placed down, if it's not letting you just click on it to transform and move it, what you gotta do is you just gotta come up here to edit with that picture's layer selected um, and just hit free transform. That'll let you move it and change the size of it. So I'm actually gonna make it a little bigger. So now you can see if I bring that up, um, it's still just a tad bit too small, so I'll make that a little bigger. And now that picture is taking up the whole space of the project. So if I go back to 66, which is the fit to size for the project, you can see that it's taken up the whole screen. Now there's no more black boxes. Um, I did just scoot it over just a little bit. It wasn't exactly centered horizontally, so that's about where it was horizontally. Um, and if you can notice, this tree is leaning a little bit to the left. So what I do to fix that is I come up here to edit, go to transform, and then rotate. And you can see if you put your mouse on the outside of that box, it gives you rotate rotate arrows. Um, all you got to do is click your mouse and hold it and then go up for rotating it to the right and then down for rotating it to the left. So I'm just going to go up and rotate it to the right until that tree looks perpendicular with the ground. That looks good for me. Yeah, I like that better at one. So yeah, so you can see um, I rotated it one degree. Um, it just makes the picture look a little bit more symmetrical. Place that down. So I do have the text that's on the cover art already in the project because I am in the same project that I actually made it in. So instead of actually doing it, I'm just going to show you guys it. Um, and then I'm going to kind of explain how I did that. If I drag this down so that the text layers are on top of that, come up here, make this visible. Mason Margella, that's a little easier to explain. Um, all I did is just drew a text box, obviously from there to there. Wrote Mason Margella. And then all I did is I came up here and I centered it. That way when I hit enter and typed Margella so that the Mason and the Margella were on two separate lines, it makes sure that the Mason is in the middle on top of the Margella. It makes it look nice and even, nice and centered. Um, and I think that looks really clean. So I kept it like that. And then for the growing pains, what I actually did, I drew a more vertical box. So you can see the box goes up and down the whole thing. For this one, all I did is I typed growing pains out, but I hit enter after every letter. So what that did is that just made it go to the next line every letter. And that's how I got it to go up and down so that it keeps them in a straight line down the middle instead of to the left or the right. The only other changes that I made then were just font changes and then sizes. And besides that, that's how we got the final version for the tape cover. If you haven't gave the tape a listen, make sure to do so. I'll put the link to the tape in the description. So make sure you go click on that. Make sure you subscribe. Clearly I'm sticking to a video a day. I hope you guys learned some things in today's video. Keep making progress. We out.